Hello, it's Dr. Brian McDonough, and I have some interesting and important statistics for all of us to know. First of all, there's about 37,000 people hospitalized for COVID in very serious condition at the present time in the United States, 37,000. Of those 37,000, there are more people between the ages of 18 and 64 than there are over 65. Now, that hasn't happened before. More important than that, the bulk of the people are between 18 and 49. So what does that tell us when you look at those statistics? Remember, all along, it was the elderly, and they were the people who were most concerned about with COVID. And in fact, the message was so important that many people who were younger thought, we're going to get a free ride. But the truth of the matter is, there's a lot of people who are younger who have chosen not to get vaccinated because they believe that nothing bad can happen and nothing can be further from the truth. Yes, a certain percentage are going to do very well, but there are many who are so-called long haulers. Those people are people who have problems with smell, problems with joint pain, problems with fatigue, breathing, all of those things, who don't even get hospitalized. And now we're seeing people getting hospitalized in that group. Why? Because they haven't gotten the vaccine. Now, you may have your own personal opinions about vaccines, and I get it. And personal opinions clearly are important, and we should respect that in everyone. But let's look at the reality. Is any personal opinion about something as trivial as a vaccine worth your life, worth your health, worth breathing problems? All of those things have to be factored in as you make your decision, because now we're seeing the real numbers. The other thing I think that's very important you have to remember, too, is by being vaccinated, you're helping everyone else. You're helping your family because you're decreasing the chances of having resistant strains of the virus populate the world and then become a bigger problem, making the vaccines we have right now useless. So lots of things to think about. I know it's a personal decision. I respect it if people have vaccine hesitancy, but think about it logically. Think about yourself, think about those you love, and think about the decision you're making and if it's worth it.